Hi, Mary here to offer up a review of Slow Death by Rubber Ducky and my experience going into my cupboards. I'm going to dive into that part first um, because it was quite shocking and I'll share why in a moment. Um, but first up, I was gifted this hand soap by a company that promotes natural products on some level, scents and things. I didn't I normally use fragrance free, but when I looked at the label of this hand soap, I noted that it had sodium lauryl sulfate, which when I went on the EWG website was known for um, organ system toxicity, specifically irritation of the eyes, skin, uh, lungs, uh, and mouth. For people with sensitive skin as well, sodium lauryl sulfate can also clog pores and cause acne. Um, the higher concern with SLS comes with situations where levels of toxicity are um, higher with contamination um, that happens during the manufacturing process. There's a substance I read about called 1,4-dioxane, um, which is known to cause cancer in lab animals. So that's that. Um, next up, another gift, uh, a shampoo I received for my birthday last year. I was intrigued um, to look in the ingredients of the shampoo because, um, well, first of all, they weren't listed on the bottle, but when I went on the website, um, what stood out to me was uh, fragrance. And what I learned from the book and through the EWG website is fragrance is a known human um, immune system toxicant, um, toxicant or an allergen. Um, there were some article reviews on um, fragrance in cosmetics that cause uh, allergic contact dermatitis. Um, also mentioned were increased reports of allergies in children that were exposed to fragrances. Um, there was a peer-reviewed study on EWG that reported fragrance caused respiratory irritation as well. And on top of that, there were ecotoxicity concerns. Um, looks like the European Union Eco Label Program shows that the um, fragrance is highly toxic to aquatic life. So, yeah. And next up comes something that I don't use very often, but I had this tube of toothpaste sitting in my cupboard for emergencies. Um, and when I looked it up, um, one of the ingredients was triclosan, which I read about in, um, in the book. And when I looked it up, um, it had a low rating, um, so not a huge risk, but um, we'll get into more of that in a second, but it, it had immunotoxicity and allergy risk. Um, the moderate risk was more due to um, adverse effects such as like endocrine disruption um, and some organ toxicity, um, more to do with bioaccumulation, so um, contamination over time. Triclosan is also highly prone to irritating skin, eyes, and lungs, and there was contamination concerns with chloroform and dioxins. Um, there's also sodium fluoride in this toothpaste, which had some user restrictions um, in Canada. It's not allowed to be used in cosmetics, so you probably don't want it in your mouth either. Um, it had a high score for um, this um, sodium fluoride, also had a high score for toxicity, um, irritation to skin, eyes, and lungs. Um, so looking into alternatives, that was kind of fun. Um, definitely, there's a couple great Canadian companies, Living Libations is one of them. They make hand soaps, toothpaste, great dental care, um, shampoo, all the stuff. Um, Green Beaver is another option, another Canadian option. And then there's a European company called Walita that works with um, ecological approaches to products as well. I have always wanted to make my own toothpaste and was stalling, so I used this as an opportunity to go for it. Um, I made up this toothpaste, um, very simple, like took three minutes with uh, coconut oil and baking soda. And then I added um, peppermint, a couple drops of tea tree oil and oregano oil as well for antibacterial uh, properties. The coconut oil in itself is antibacterial and the Baking soda is just used to cleanse and, and keeps the mouth alkaline as an added bonus, as I read. Um, so after using this product for a week, I mean, I, I'll be honest, it took some getting used to the consistency, um, but now I'm in a groove with it. And yeah, I noticed that my mouth feels less dry than when I use my regular, um, I was using a natural toothpaste every day before that, but this is much more hydrating. Um, so finally, I guess reflections, reflecting on what I learned during this assignment, I would say um, it made me take pause and really consider the pervasive amount of uh, 
of environmental burden there is at this time placed on humans and the environment. Um, I've been conscientious about products since my teens. I had a job um, as a holistic body care buyer at a large co-op. And so I got excellent education about natural products and got to play and test them all out. Um, however, this assignment really opened my eyes up further to the amount of developing contamination. It seems as though um, there is m much more considerable risk um, put into household consumer goods at this time. And as Slow Death by Rubber Ducky detailed, we're now more than ever seeing the negative impacts of overlooking contamination through bioaccumulation, um, all these small amounts of uh, exposure. I also noted, um, I wanted to mention like the level of rigor um, that was exercised by the Death by Rubber Ducky research team as they experienced, experimented with their own bodies um, and experienced the effects with consumer products that carried suspected risk. I felt gratitude for this commitment that they've made and um, this group of environmental scientists publishing their findings with such clarity um, and discernment. And um, finally, I just wanted to mention, I myself have experienced the effects of chemical and environmental toxins um, in my own health journey. In the midst of being diagnosed with an autoimmune uh, condition, I became incredibly chemical and EMF sensitive for a time. Um, this experience allowed me to begin to identify more so um, and remove specific triggers. And I think it really invited me to be more attuned to uh, my body and what was being put into it. So it's been a challenging journey, but I'm heartened that there is more uh, growing awareness around issues of environmental toxins. And I'm certainly committed to incorporating this understanding into my work with clients. Thanks for watching.